Johnson. I'm here to support the Black and Brown Social Club, protesting uh, Greg Sur's appearance along with Susie Loftus here. And why do you think Susie Loftus has invited the chief, former chief Greg Sur to be at this uh, benefit? You know, I don't think she's um, committed to criminal justice reform. I think she's part of sort of the old guard in San Francisco. I think she's committed to keeping things the way that they are. Uh, and clearly she wants to appeal to sort of the uh, the, the sort of white, conservative, middle class uh, in the west side of San Francisco, and Greg Sir represents that. And I think that she wants those funders and she wants their money for her campaign. And, you know, the, that's her constituency. Those are the people that she's, you know, that she's going to serve if she's elected as district attorney. Are you unhappy that the uh, policemen who had racist texts, the policemen that were involved in many of these incidents are still working for the police force? I'm, I'm incensed that they're still working with the police force. I think that those officers should have been fired. I think all the officers who have been involved with these police shootings should no longer be on the force. I think it's a travesty of justice. Any of these officers are still patrolling the streets. I think they're dangerous. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So right now, they are right here gathering money for that candidacy to continue oppressing people of color, to continue oppressing the workers, to continue to spy and snitch on the anti-war movement. That's what she wants to be, a district attorney, my friends. Not to defend the people, not to do anything for justice. She is just part of the corrupt Democratic Party, San Francisco machinery. That's what she wants to be. That's what she got. All this money that she will gather right here tonight in this very bourgeois neighborhood. She is an enemy of the workers. She is an enemy of the poor. She is an enemy of the civil rights activists. She is an enemy of free speech. Anybody that is indifferent to uh, the suffering of poor people, that uh, with power, like she has, 
as a district attorney. When somebody like that refuses to act upon killer cops that are there ample and plenty of evidence of the crimes, my friends, right here that I gather on this side of the street with the side of justice, the side of pro real progressiveness, that person really cannot represent us. And I want to support the words of my uh, sister right here, Christina. If you are a person of color, black or brown, and you support these accomplice of murder, you definitely are on the wrong side of history. You are in the side of the killers and the murderers, and you are nothing but a lackey for the capitalist class, a lackey for the oppressors, somebody that should be ashamed of yourself. Because uh, ultimately, these rulers, like her, like the mayor, like the district attorney, like the governor, like the president of this country, they ultimately are politicians for the ruling class. As a ruling class, it's that class that sent people to be killed in American wars. The same capitalist class that discriminates against workers. That right now, is the strike of uh, all workers from General Motors and this plutocracy that runs this country doesn't care anything about it. As the contrary, they just want to continue of oppressing people. And uh, individuals like sociologists, what they want to do is to come to office to prosecute activists. That's what they do effectively, to prosecute civil rights activists, to prosecute workers, to prosecute progressive people, to a snitch and a spy. And we are here tonight to denounce these characters. These characters that are, are not anything good for working class and the poor and minorities of this country. progressiveness. It's not the progressive 
think about being a district attorney in this city, in San Francisco, that is driving the poor away. And uh, he's letting people die of homelessness in the street. It's nothing progressive about it. On the contrary, it's just part of the oppressive machinery okay. that uh, oppresses working people day and night. So we are here to demand justice and to let these buffoons and clowns lackeys of capitalism and imperialism that poor people have allies, that they are not alone, that we will be here and anywhere that we have to be protesting, demanding justice, because we are on the right side of history. We are on the side of justice. We are in the side of uh, progressive politics. Today, in this country, there are many politicians that claim to be progressive, that claim to be for the poor, that claim to be for justice, and they are not. One of them is Bernie Sanders, that supports the building of the F-35 jet fighter bomber. That same politician that supported the 51-day siege of Gaza, oppressing the Palestinians. The same so-called progressive that supported the bombing of Yugoslavia. The same so-called progressive that is involved in so many crimes now want to come to power to rob capitalism at the, the behest of the capitalist class. But we are raising consciousness. We are making people aware that uh, it is a system that oppresses people and that we have to overthrow it. It's a system that people like this opportunity, Susie Loftus and company support and work for. And that system is capitalism. And we dislike that system. We want to uh, replace it with a better system that champions the demand of the oppressed, that uh, will get rid of our racism. We are on the right side of history. We are on the side of progressiveness. So we are here today and we want to, you know, make people aware of uh, the role of these stooges in progressing oppressive people. So I thank everybody for coming. I thank all of you. We might be a few, but this movement is growing and will grow. And remember, every cause starts with some people, but it grows because uh, the side of the real justice always grows and always prevails and always ultimately will win. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Hi, how are you? Remember that. So I told you they have no Are you going here for the Susie Yeah, yeah. Right. Thank you. 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 We want justice for all the people. We want justice for the people. So, you knew, you knew that she was part of all the gang that allowed for black and brown young men and women to be murdered. Okay, no worries. So that's why he did this. We'll that's all. That's already. You know? Nothing else. Can we... Look at look at that little couple there. She's threatening me. Look at that couple. They come ready to fight. Defending the racism, white chauvinism, not the ideology that they have. I'm a founder of what is called the Mothers on the March Against Police Murder. We are here today because this woman that is running to become the next district attorney of this city never did anything 
anything for our people or to bring justice or to bring those police officers to, to, to jail or to be charged with murder or for chief, uh, for chief of police uh, serve to be fired for allowing all the killing of these young people, for allowing all the race test thing that happened with the, within the police. And now she's running and she's pretending that she cares about us, that she cares about the black and brown community, that she cares about justice, that she's gonna work towards that. That's a lie, that's a lie. When I was on a hunger strike, I'm part of the uh, Frisco fight. When the five of us went on a hunger strike, she came to the hunger strike to tell us that we were wasting our time, that we shouldn't do that, and that Chief Sir was okay, and that it wasn't his fault, everything that was going on. She tried to protect every single police officer, and she would have let us die. If it was up to her, she would have let us die on the hunger strike. And it took not only the hunger strike, but one more child, Jessica Williams, to be murdered before the man was asked to leave office, and he's the man that is putting the fundraising for her. So that shows you who she really is. So we want the city to know that we cannot continue to have that type of police department in the city, and we need to have a district attorney that will be able to bring justice here and stop the madness and the killing of our black and brown community, and it's not that woman. So we want her to know that we are here. We want you to know and everybody else to know that this has to end. And where are those officers now? They're free. They're, They're free. free. They are, are all are free. Are they still on the force? They are still on the force. The last one, I want you to know about Luis Gongorapat, the police officer who murdered him. They admitted that he did not follow the rules and that he has murdered that young man with, you know, wrongly. And you know, first they asked for him to be um, suspended. Can you imagine for murdering somebody to be suspended? But he didn't even get that. He's still in the police force. He's doing whatever he wants. All those police officers, none of them had been charged. None of them. And when she was the president of that police commissioner, she has the power to at least, to at least demand, demand that they should be charged and that they should be taken to court and find out the truth. She didn't do anything. She justified every single one of those killers. And we, not, we cannot have her there. We cannot. We mothers cannot do that. We cannot allow for that. Do you expect to talk to her when she gets here? I don't really came here to talk to her because she doesn't care. I talked to her when I was on the hunger strike and she almost let me die. So what am I going to talk with somebody that almost let me die when I was on the hunger strike? She didn't give a damn about my life. I'm a 70-year-old woman. She didn't care that I was there on a hunger strike. She didn't care about my life or the life of my son or the life of those other people who were over there on the hunger strike. She didn't care. You think she's going to care? So I come here to denounce her, to let the people know who she really is. And I hope you do that in this TV. I hope you do that. I really hope with all my heart. Let people know that she is not that saint that she's pretending to be. But she's a liar and she's not a Democrat. You know who the owner of the house, what they have in that party? He's a right-wing politician. He's from the Republican Party. He supports the war on drugs. You know, this, this, is, this is who we are. This is what we have. You know? Not here to support anybody right at this moment. I will support, yes, I will look whoever is going to be good for me, and I will do my campaign there, but here, I'm here to denounce her. I want to ask for people not to vote for this woman, to please open our eyes and don't let people lie to us and use us. Our children, black and brown and poor white children, are being murdered by the police with total impunity, and it has to end. Responsible for the murdering of most of these young men and women. What is the purpose of this what did she do when all these young men and women were murdered? But she said to continue in that office. That's how you are guilty of her killing. You allow for him to continue to be in that office. That's why Mario Red is dead. That's why Alex Nieto is dead.